I am The Dollar Sportsman. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today, we've got the FX Impact M3. This is what I used at RMAC Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge. And we're gonna talk about it today, a little bit of my experience and what you can do with it. I want to uh, say you saw this in the beginning of the videos, but Utah Air Guns, uh, thank you so much for giving me this to compete with. Um, that is awesome. This has been a fun gun to compete with. I really enjoyed my time at Rocky Mountain Air Gun Competition, and uh, yeah, it was, it was a blast. You guys should go check out the full video of that. I did full coverage. I also added speed challenge stuff on TikTok. I do have a TikTok, T dollar sign S the dollar sportsman or hashtag the dollar sportsman. You can find me there and uh, I've got some really cool stuff going on there. So please go follow me there as well as here. I do appreciate it. Uh, we have got here FX Impact M3, you know that. Um, Athlon Midas TAC scope. This thing was fantastic during competition. I even dropped my gun. <laughs> yep, that was painful. I marked up the scope, but it still keeps trucking. It worked just fine afterwards. So. And so did the gun. So let's talk about some of the upgrades that I have on my particular setup. First and foremost, going top to bottom, we have the Air Marksman Backbone Rail. Now I've done an install video on that, how to put it in. Uh, in that video, I've also shown when I dropped my gun. Yep, and uh, when I dropped it, nothing happened to the gun itself. It still worked absolutely fine. It was in perfect condition. It fell on this scope and the Air Marksman backbone took all of that shock and distributed it such that there was no damage to the gun itself, which was so glad, so glad, thank you. So, and thank you to Air Marksman and Utah Air Guns for sticking that on there. I really appreciate it. Next up, we go down to the power block. Now, the FX impacts were pretty powerful from the get-go, but this is a recent update. Uh, it is the power block. The Power Plenum 720, this has a tungsten hammer on the inside of it, and it also provides more energy, more ability to pack a punch out of these guns. You've got guys like Chris Turek up north, Air Gunner, um, doing some fantastic testing with these. He did some great videos on it, but let me tell you myself, I am running this with, well, I'll get to the regulators in just a second, but I'm running this hot normally. Uh, when I have slugs and when I have a specific barrel in it, which I will also get to in just a second. I am not maxing out the power of this gun, which is really, really impressive. This is set up more for speed competition right now. NRL 22, etc. cetera, um, bench rest. That's basically what I have it tuned for, but I can go much higher if I wanted to. If I really wanted to push heavy, heavy slugs, I ha still have ample room to adjust uh, thanks to this power block and the power system in the back. Moving forward, we have got, oh, the tuning system right here. Now I have this tuned specifically at around 920-ish feet per second for pellets and slugs. I'm using the same weight of pellets and slugs and they're actually performing relatively well, um, but you can only tune for really one or the other. So right now I have it tuned for pellets and uh, Jaden at uh, Utah Air Guns helped me to tune this pre-competition, and so now I don't want to touch the tune until we go to extreme bench rest in a couple of months. But prior to that, I had a slug liner or a slug barrel, essentially, within this gun. And I was slinging slugs close to 960 feet per second with extreme accuracy. We're talking inch and a half groups at 150 yards using the knockout slugs. Now that's pretty impressive. But for this, I have the STX barrel within it, which is the standard barrel that comes with all the M3s nowadays and it is incredibly accurate when it's well-tuned, and it is well-tuned. So in front of it, I've also got the Don EFL uh, suppressor for the impact specifically. It's small, but it is effective. It does quiet this quite a bit, which is fantastic. On the bottom here, I have a Sabre Tactical Rail. This is an Arca Rail. I haven't utilized the Arca aspect yet just because I don't have my Arca equipment yet, but you can add an Arca, anything, bag, bipod, what have you, and it still has the Picatinny rail on the front of it, which is what I was using for my bipods, which is great because it also allows the bipod to come further up the gun, which is much more stable than having a bipod back here. When you have it back here, it can still kind of lean and rock and stuff, 
uh, the bipod up front is much more effective. That's not the same, just a side note, for bags. Bags, you want it to be in the balance, in the center of balance. So your bag, you really want it to sit somewhere right in the middle because then your gun is balanced when you're on an obstacle or what have you and you don't have to worry about correcting it back here as much. Special thank you to Boyd Linder, Utah's Pew Pew on Instagram for teaching me that. That is basically, that's the gist of the upgrades. I also have an extended um, quick detach air mount right there and it's extended so that it's easier to get to. Things that I would still upgrade when it comes to this would be the Air Marksman bottle. 700cc bottle gives you more shots. Um, I would like to upgrade to that so I can fill it up and just keep shooting. If you were to see both sides of my gun, you would see that the air side and the regulator side are the same. The reason why is because I have maxed out my air regulator. Just keep in mind, if you're doing this outside of Utah Air Guns, uh, there are certain FX requirements for warranty that you should look up to make sure that you don't void your warranty. I have it maxed out here uh, because I worked with the custom shop at Utah Air Guns for speed challenge in particular. And the reason why I have this maxed is because back here, I wanna have as fast of an air fill as possible so I can get fast shots quick. And by maxing out the front rag, it fills up this plenum very fast and I can get shots off real quick. Um, my rear regulator is set to 120 bar. 120 bar at 920 feet per second using 34 grain 25 cal slugs. It's pretty impressive. So that's my build. I've also got, uh, I forgot to mention, a UTG 20 MOA rail on top of the Air Marksman backbone because this is the zero MOA version of it, of the backbone. So I needed extra MOA. I also have a 20 MOA Athlon mount right here, giving me a total of 40 MOA. And the reason why I did that is so that when I go back to my slug barrel, I will be able to go out to extreme distances well beyond 150 yards with my slugs and I'm very much looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I'm keeping this set up for competition with pellets uh, for a couple more months. All in all, I will say that I have really enjoyed this gun. I've been very impressed by the M3. Uh, that is not because I am sponsored by them, by the way, because I tested it. I snuck into Utah Air Guns <laughs> and uh, tested out the M3 with the power block because I wanted to know for sure that it would be effective and useful and do exactly, exactly what I wanted it to. What I wanted it to do was shoot slugs accurately with a whole lot of power at distance, which this does. I appreciate the fact that I can tune it up and down based on what I need at the time. Right now it's tuned for competition. Very soon it will be tuned for hunting once again and NRL 22 competition where I do use slugs. So that's it guys. Um, now we're gonna go to the field just for a little bit of fun because I like fun and you should too. So I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out what fun you can have with this little thing right here. So guys, I'm out here filming for American Air Gunner, my FX Impact M3 from Utah Air Guns, and there are perfectly good soda cans that somebody left out on the range, and uh, we can't let those go to waste, so I've got five shots in here at an unknown distance. I think it's like 60-ish yards. We're gonna have some fun. All right. It's been super windy. But that's not gonna stop us. Here we go. Five shots left in the magazine. Let's see if we can hit them. All right, on my mark, get right, get steady, go. Oh, just over. Here we go. Boom! Yeah, buddy, here goes the second one. Boom! <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> Dude! This thing is accurate and fun, guys. Uh, the wind died down for the split second we were filming that. It was crazy out here. FX Impact M3 with an Athlon Midas Tack, 25 magnification, down to five. Air Marksman backbone, which uh, saved this gun. AccuTac bipod. I've got Armageddon gear in the back for my supports here. This has been fun. Hey, get you some air guns and have some fun. You can have a great time. I am the Dollar Sportsman.
Yes! <laughs> you guys excited? Yes. Excited. Yeah! <laughs> I guess it was. This is going to be a fun adventure. Yeah. Well done. That was awesome. <laughs> Do you see that? Woo! Yeah! You can do this. Get out there. Let's go do this. Woo! He's so fired up. This guy. I love oh, this guy. Absolutely.